Right, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Anthony Carpen here for vloguary number, ooh, I think it's the fifth today, or rather what's left of it. And I've got a little microphone here, so I'm just going to see what difference it actually makes. So this is without microphone, and this is with microphone. Um, so tell me if it, <laughs> it makes any difference, because one of the things I've always had with filming is audio has always been a challenge. On Saturday next week, um, or the Saturday coming, um, I'm going to be doing a mobile phone photography class with Ian Olson, who's one of our finest photographers, event photographers around um, these parts. And um, so it'll be, uh, I'm actually quite looking forward to it because I've um, always struggled, um, I felt, with just photography generally. Um, so it'll be interesting to um, see what he comes out with. In particular, I've also um, got a, a, a new mobile phone, actually, um, which I'm still yet to transfer over. But it's basically a refurbished um, secondhand one. And I'm working now, because of all things climate, um, on the premise of anything new tech that I buy is going to be refurbished or upcycled or something like that rather than being brand new simply because of the resource demands more than anything else. It also turns out to be a damn sight uh, cheaper as well doing it um, that way but also at the same time I don't find myself actually needing to have the highest of the high end um, kit. Talking about um, upcycling, recycling in, and improving things, um, for those of you who've been following um, all things uh, local history. Um, I do gather wonderful things like this. Um, this is a book by uh, J.W. Clark, who was one of the uh, many academics here um, from um, back in the uh, uh, back in the day. And this uh, actual version of his book about the history of Cambridge actually dates back to um, 1908. So he would have been a contemporary of uh, John Neville Keynes, Maynard's um, father and the husband of Florence um, because Clark was also uh, one of the registries of the university like uh, John Neville was. I don't know if you've ever seen any photographs of John Neville Keynes when he was young. He was incredibly handsome. The uh, Another book that um, I'm with I guess similar um, uh, needs for um, having some TLC given to it is this one. This is a memoir of Anne Jemima Clough um, and it was written by um, her niece um, called Blanche and it's just an incredible history um, of, uh, of an amazing woman. It's actually quite scary actually and um, this was actually um, a copy previously belonging to the Cambridge Union Library and we know that because you can see the stamp in that very scary looking photo. Um, of uh, one of the uh, founders of um, Newnham College, but there's a lovely piece at the end of uh, um, end of it, um, quoting the um, final um, passages, and it says, "I should like." In concluding this account of Miss Clough's life, to recall some words of her own written when she was uh, 21, and it's the, in her diary for the year 1841, and she wrote, I care not for honour or praise if I could only really do something to benefit my fellow creatures. If I were a man, I would not work for riches or to leave a wealthy family behind me. I would work for my country and make its people my heirs. Well, I think she did more than that, and as a woman at a time when women were barred from standing for election and barred from voting, she went and co-founded one of the most influential colleges this country has ever produced. Another um, book that also um, does need um, some serious TLC is this one, and this is uh, Axon and Clark's um, wonderful book. I think it's, is it the same J.W. Clark? Just bear with me. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so um, it's uh, the Atkinson, it provides Thomas Dynamat Dinam Atkinson, provides the introduction, it's John Willis Clark, um, who um, did the uh, <laughs> the groundwork of the, the writing, but it's a fascinating book because you come out with wonderful little prints like this, and this 
is an original um, seal of, or rather a copy of, a print of the original seal of, um, of Cambridge of the municipality. Uh, it was before we got the current one in 1575, which is the one with the uh, with Neptune's horses on it. But again, it has prints like you so. My favourite one, uh, actually, in this book is on what Market Square um, used to look like. But actually, just as an aside, you've got stuff like that. This is the houses on Silver Street, and it gives an, a real feel for actually what um, uh, many of the houses actually in um, uh, in Cambridge looked like, and they were all from um, a, uh, a a series um, of etchings that were done, I think, in the eighteen seventies, uh, um, uh, if I recall correctly. I'll just quickly have a look and uh, and and. And see what it uh, um, what it says. Yeah, many of them um, are actually um, done by uh, Atkinson and Clark them uh, themselves. But um, while inevitably it focuses on the uh, the um, the the colleges, um, because um, in the times that's what um, a lot of them did. You can see I'm still flicking through. Um, the book now because I'm desperate to find <laughs> that, uh, that damn map. Um, it is, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it does a much better job than most actually of um, the, the, the town's early history um, and it's something that is uh, it's all too easily forgotten which is obviously one of the reasons why I've done it. I found it and I'll end uh, this uh, What's turned out to be quite a longer vlog post than anticipated with that. This is the old market square and that was what the Guildhall site used to look like. So maybe for a future one I'll show you some of the plans that we could have got but didn't. But I shall leave it there. Night night.